Okay, I've got here the Rooms Hotel in Kingaroy in central Queensland. This is a very interesting complex in that there are lots of rooms squeezed together, which I was a little bit concerned about, but I walked in and um, this is quite interesting and somewhat funky, I suppose. Um, got a compendium and all those things. I've um, got a nice sink, really modern looking kitchen um, a little plunger coffee which is a nice little additional touch I like that all neat and tidy i did read the reviews and apparently this place is very clean there isn't a view so there is that then we've got a nice big tv a nice big bed aircon just above which is necessary around here and just have a look at the bathroom first look in Nice big spacious bathroom, toilet shower, I don't know what this is, I don't know what that thing is but I'll have to find out I think now. This is nice, this is very nice, it's very close to the shopping centres, um, a major shopping centre with a Woolworths, uh, there's an Aldi, there's a pub apparently three traffic lights away. And um, yeah, first impressions, very good. I might just go and have a look out the, at the entrance. Before going out to the front, it's got some nice little touches like this light along the bottom of the wall. I think this could be a place that has little discoveries along the way. And also um, the toiletry packs are quite um, sanitary, vanity, all it is. Shower cap, a shaving kit, a sewing kit, bath gel, conditioner, and shampoo. And at the back here, what have we got? We've got a dental kit um, and soap. Nice. That's um, much better than you'll find in most, if not all, country hotels. Spare toilet paper, rubbish bin, trash can. Take that out. There's a hairdryer underneath. little shelf maybe for a toiletry bag that's not a bad idea this is well thought out this is very well thought out you can hang your towel there or there um, it's got a nice shelf on the shower yeah impressed there's also some windows up the top there so I've opened this other one but I might open these top ones to get a little bit more natural light in although I don't have a view um, a little bit natural light never hurt anybody there we go some beautiful Queensland sunshine it might not look like much but it does change the whole aspect oh and here we go another little surprise a lining board and a place to hang my clothes this is very clever it looks like these could be modular down here we have something else that's clever it's a clock radio if you want a clock radio most people don't use the clock radios these days they just um, plug their phone in so like I said this is really well thought out very very well thought out it would have to be one of the best oh wow one of the best country hotels that I've stayed at and I have stayed in probably oh, over a hundred over a hundred spotless meticulous and functional the fridge was empty I don't normally go through all the um, drawers but this place has been full of little surprises oh there we go a little teapot and everything very very satisfied and I've got my Wi-Fi the only problem with these blinds is you can't actually reach that one I'm gonna try I might jump up on the bench or something and try not to kill myself so there you go the tiniest blemish as usual I'll work my way backwards here to the checking area but this is the there's like two blocks. This is one of the car park areas. Nice big roof over the top. And this is where the, um, the rooms are. So my room happened to have been down 
the rooms are here down either of these sides so you walk down the side and around the corner so they really have jammed them into this block and this is the other side of the of the hotel complex here so we'll go so we'll go around there and have a look this is the main area there wasn't a um a place for check-in but that was okay uh, there's a toilet here near the near the reception and again it's got the similar similar layout and a nice little um public area an outdoor seating area and looks like there's a barbecue there as well i don't know if anyone ever uses those barbecues or not but uh, there are lots of lots of rooms here uh, counting over 45 very clean very modern very new very very functional and as you can see here that's the whole of the complex but it's right next to a Woolworths over there and Aldi, Hungry Jacks, Ampole and there's a pub around the corner so so it's got all the facilities and I happen to be down the back tonight so I won't get any of this highway noise I don't know how some of these front rooms would fare with highway noise that is not my problem today so I would ask not to be near the highway which is a usual call for, for these types of places I never know when it's going to be the last thing I'm going to say about a place. So here's another tidbit. Um, this does have a restaurant, but at the time of doing this review, it was closed. I'm glad I booked ahead. No vacancy. It was uh, closed for two weeks for renovations, kitchen renovations. So that's a good sign. And it's also good that they have their own restaurant because there isn't a great deal to eat around here. I just ate at the commercial pub and it was, um, it wasn't great. Somehow they managed to wreck a perfectly good rump steak. So um, it'll be good when the restaurant opens up here again in mid-December 2023. Another little surprise here, I do try to mask my identity so I won't show my room number, but um, this is also a nice touch that you only usually see in the more expensive hotels and resorts. We're saying that Sky Anne cleaned the room and the date they cleaned it and the room number. So yeah, another nice touch for this place that keeps giving me these little surprises. So maybe the video will end here, we'll see. One final thing here, when you close the room, it doesn't automatically lock behind you. I mean, it doesn't, it's not a big problem, but it's something to be aware of because usually we leave hotel rooms and we just close the door and you assume it's going to lock behind you. Not the case here. And I just realized that last time I went out, it was not locked. So, and now we head out. Still love the place, it's still fantastic. Look at this, meticulous, meticulous. As I said, this hotel room is full of little surprises. And here's another one, under the, under the bed, there's like this storage area. There's another one there. These are excellent ways to store your luggage. You know how in hotel rooms you usually have your luggage just laying around like that and it's, and it gets in the way. I didn't notice that, realize that was there. Really good idea. And finally, with the, I mentioned that the room had this little card saying that Sky Ann had done the room. But inside, there is a little card. Now, you've, we've all seen these. We've seen a lot of these in our time. How is the room presented? Good, poor, excellent. Um, and the cleaning quality, but also requires attention. And this is something we find in a lot of rooms, that there's just a little thing. There's a leaky toilet. There's a sticky door. There's something that's not quite right. And the cleaners won't know that. And... Um, it's just a, a simple little thing. It, um, 
Yeah, hats off. Probably one of the best hotel, country hotel rooms I've ever stayed in. I'm going to walk you through the best country motel I've found in Australia. I'm Stephen, I own a mystery shopping company and I do this for a living. This is the best of over a hundred hotels that I've stayed at in Australia.